Hey guys, it's Beth, and welcome back to Peglin. It has been quite a while since I've checked out um, Peglin, uh, just because, you know, I've been waiting for uh, more content drops, and well, look at this. We've got right here the Spinventor. Uh, the Spinventor delves into the strange properties of pegs, orbs, and relics, and focuses on effects that have altered the pegboard, and also orbs themselves. Starting Relic. Spinvent originality. Uh, unique orbs in your deck get plus one, plus two. So, the way you get the Spinventor is you need to get a split orb uh, and um, bounce on the splatted pegs five times in a row, and you unlock uh, that one. Um, I'm just going to go for extra attack, I'd say. Extra crit damage is always nice. I also really love uh, the model design. I like the the design of the Spinventor themselves. It's pretty dang cool. So we start out with a Splat Orb, which makes sense, as well as multiple uh, or three Pebbles, because they have changed the name from Stone to Pebble to more so fit the theme of everything being a pun around orb or ball or peg. It, it's all, uh, it, it all centers around that stuff. And honestly, I, I'm pretty cool with the change. Oh! Damage Sector Orb and Blast Sector Orb. Part of the Assemble. Creates a new Assemble if no other Assembles have a slot for this part. That's three, plus three to the Assemble. Um, huh. I guess I'll go with that. Uh, I kind of want to collect more of those. I wish I had more coins to grab both of those at the same time. Because that's new. I haven't seen that before. It, it is a bit weird seeing things no longer be labeled as stones, but... You know, that's just how it is. Oh, so I'm guessing there's... Okay, it looks like there's four pieces of that, and that's one of the pieces. Alright, that's pretty cool. Oh, you can't upgrade it. Fascinating. I guess it's one of those things where the upgrade comes from being bought. Uh, huh. Weird. Alright. You know, I love when they do unique stuff, so... Honestly, th this gives me more stuff to, to play around with. Love to see more of that. I have not seen that stuff at all, so... I'm gonna upgrade the Splat Orb and the Ball Lightning. Sure. Now, I wouldn't specifically say that, like... The Splat Orb is particularly good. Uh, I am, however, interested in, like, the idea of, uh, the Spin... The... Is this the Spinventor, I believe? Uh, I believe that is the name, uh, properly. Um... I, I, I am interested solely because, like, they tend to end up doing a lot more with, uh, their new characters... Like, um, when they added in, uh, what's it called, um, um, like, ball work and stuff. Yeah, when they added in the ball it in, they did a whole, like, revamp. So I'm imagining with the Spinventor, they're probably going to end up bringing a whole bunch of new effects in. Uh, to sort of complement that, which is pretty cool. Or maybe it's just, you know, a fun gimmick character. I do love... I love gimmick characters. Gimmick characters can be some of my faves. And also, like, um... Spinvent Originality... That's pretty good of an ability. Uh, I'll wait. 
Let's see if we can buy that, like, blast, uh, thing here. Nope. Doesn't look like anything that interesting. But you always love checking in with Haglin. She's the best. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but I've actually talked uh, with the um, the creator of this game and the, the lead of the company uh, because I encountered a pretty game-breaking bug, um, uh, but they were able to fix it and patch that out, so hey, uh, the guys who work on this game, pretty cool, very chill, uh, it was very nice talking to them. Uh, it's also nice because I was able to get my, uh, my partner, Natalie. Uh, she also likes the game now, too, because of how into it I was. Um, uh, I bought the, um, the, the plush, uh, and that came with a download code for a Steam copy of Peglin. I'm like, well, I already own it. And then around the same time that, uh, the Peglin plush came out, um, my... Uh, like, I, I met Natalie, and it was just perfect. I was like, oh, here's a thing that 100% you can play and you'll probably enjoy. And she does, which makes me happy. Because this game rules, and I think more people should play it. Duplicate Orb. Duplicates hit crit and, uh, thing one time. Now, I, I don't really like that as an orb. As an orb, I feel that's a bit, like, I don't know. It, it feels more redundant and more hyper-specific. I'm not the biggest fan of it. So, yeah, the Assemble does not have levels. Fascinating. They're doing way more stuff with uh, subverting like levels and stuff because you have the all or nothing. Wait, oh, no, it's not the all orb nothing. Um, there is a specific orb that exists now that you can use. Um, like it just infinitely. Um, like, um, what's it called? You can just infinitely level it up with infinite things just if you keep upgrading it which is pretty cool so uh oh the instigate orb you see i actually played a little bit of this that way i could unlock the spin venter um before anything um the uh the instigate orb is actually really good because the next orb attacks all people, but it in and of itself is not great, and if it starts at the bottom, that's pretty bad. Upgrade my orbs. Oh! Randomly add two orbs. Sure. Sounds great. Can always be new ones, so might as well hop in. I love the rework design of the castle that they did. It really makes me happy to see. Okay, so it looks like we got another instigate orb, which is... Alright. And we got a fireball. Uh, the issue is that um, we don't get the... Uh, that. Applies rubber slime to everything hit. Okay. And it attacks all enemies. Alright. Far from the worst thing, uh, but I am going to need more pierce, I believe. I mean, we're not up against a crossbow boss, though, so I doubt we'll actually super duper need it. Um, yeah, let's just continue on. Man, I want to get all the pieces of that, uh, the assemblorb, or whatever, assemble. I like assemblorb. Blorbo. Leave your Blorbo in the comments below. Mine is Amina Ashido. That... 
That is... And also, uh, Peridot from Steven Universe. Peridot is basically the definition of Blorbo. Uh, nope, still nothing. No assemble parts. Really want to grab those. Like, that scene... Like, it's such a weird gimmick, I want to use it. <laughs> um... Unfortunately, I, it, I don't really get anything from that. Oh, if I got that out of order, that would be perfect. That's a shame. Just heal up, why not? Okay, now let's go visit Haglin. See, ooh. First, oh! Yeah, I'll pick that up. That sounds cool. Adventurine. Oh, well, that's a, that's a shame. I usually like going through the middle part there, but whatever. Hey! New thing. Uh, nah, I'm okay. I don't need the amethyst. I could do an all-gemstone run at some point, which is literally just, like, adventuring and, uh, that gemstone, and then, like, the flint thing that makes your, uh, your ball bounce more. Oh, I see. It actually make it adds the status of plus 10. Interesting. There we are. Oh, best foot forward. The first hit, each shot gets plus five, can target any enemy. Sure. Why not? I will say, ball lightning is good just because it's so frickin' satisfying to use. Oh my gosh, it's a little kick animation, aw. That's fun. Okay, need to heal up a bit. Uh, every three times the board is refreshed, game one Mersussel, Mersircle. I always say Mersussel. I guess that's just a weird thing with my lisp. And also my brain can't, um, can't, uh, act right. There we are. Uh, can I hit that? Yeah, there we are. Well, that sucked. Whoopsie. Kinda have to hope to get a refresh around here. Oh, that'll do it. Probably. Yeah. Honestly, that's a really interesting, um, I, I do quite like the, uh, the, the buff to the, um, 
the things here. Like, that's pretty cool. It doesn't look like we're going to beat this boss, though. I wonder... Uh, they didn't add more health or anything. I think I just don't have very high damage and orbs. My orbs are all kinda niche and mediocre. Uh, ooh, we are not going to be able to, to win here. Oh well. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed looking at uh, the new character in this game. Uh, this, I believe they are called the Spinventor. Yep, Spinventor, I was right. Uh, in terms of characters that I like using um, specifically, I'd probably say that Roundrill is still my favorite just because uh, I like the random aspect of them. Uh, I think uh, Spinventor might be next, then Standard Peglin, and then the, the Baladin. Uh, I feel like this is a very interesting and cool thing. I also really like the sprite work for it. Um, I like uh, the look of everything. So yeah, uh, really good update so far, and I'm going to play a bit more. Uh, that way we can, uh, can can see a bit more of the new content. I really want to see the assemble uh, completed. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.